<clears throat> Hello, bearded bee people. Welcome back to the B and K Bees channel. Tonight I am not doing anything bee related, but I'm outside imaging Saturn. I figured because you guys are all scientific minded people and you love nature and you love bees, I figured you might share my fascination with astronomy. Maybe not my fascination with the imaging process, but Saturn is something incredible. Um, this is it live, frame by frame, but in order to get the final processed image that was the thumbnail to this video, I take about a, a 10 minute capture, uh, totaling about 14, 14 or so thousand frames, and then use a specialized planetary imaging program to stack them up on top of each other so that each frame adds a little bit of detail that the previous frame didn't have. Um, I can take a 10 minute uh, video of Saturn because it doesn't have a whole lot of fine detail and it rotates slower. Uh, Jupiter has a lot of fine detail and it rotates uh, about once every 90 some minutes so it's just spinning around like crazy and if you take anything longer than about a three minute capture with Jupiter you'll blur the detail that's about a three minute capture with an eight inch telescope here from Earth this is my Celestron Nexstar 8SE computerized scope with my planetary imaging camera plugged in there hooked up to the uh, computer so yeah it's a it's an incredible hobby I mean as you guys know hobbies can be very fulfilling um, this one I've been fascinated by looking up and learning about astronomy and physics since I was a kid then I grew up and the fascination didn't leave my pockets started to get a little bit more money and and I fell down this rabbit hole so it's not a it's not a cheap hobby but man I love it um hopefully I'll have a finished Jupiter image that I took from earlier um Jupiter is a little late in the season so when the sun goes down it's lower in the sky and anything lower in the sky has to go through more atmosphere for the light to get here so it's not the best conditions for Jupiter imaging, but Saturn was just at opposition last month, I think, which means that we were just directly in between it and the Sun, um, which is the point in our orbit when, basically, when we're closest to Saturn, so it's the best imaging time. Um, Saturn and Jupiter are considerably farther away from the Sun than we are, and Therefore, they orbit much slower. So we meet up with them, or they, they are at opposition, at about the same time each year. Because we zip around the sun, but they're pretty much where they were when we saw them last. So last, uh, this, you know, 2017, March and April was good for Jupiter, and uh, 2016, March and April was good for Jupiter. So it's late in the summer, is a little late for Jupiter, but... Saturn's good, and Saturn is a jaw-dropping sight through a telescope. It's nicer than what you're seeing here in this grainy black and white image through a telescope. It's just incredible. I was hoping to get the Cassini Divide tonight, which is a divide in the rings that's made by a small moon kind of cleaning up its orbital path. Um, it's neat. It takes fairly good seeing for me to get it with... Uh, pretty good skies. Uh, we have, we live in small town America, West Michigan, so we don't have the sky glow that people from bigger cities do. So we have good conditions, but still the Cassini divide is, I'm not an expert at planetary imaging, so that's a good goal for me. Um, it's neat to get it. And then also sometimes you'll get a hint of the planet's shadow on its uh, rings behind it, which is pretty cool too. So I'm going to start a uh, capture here. Um, 
You see, this is my histogram. I want to leave it around 50% so that I have room for post-processing without oversaturating anything. This is where I set my exposure. Um, if I turn it up, it takes more light in for each frame so things will get brighter. Once again, I don't want to have it too bright because I want to have room for post-processing. This is the gain. I can change my region of interest here, but I'm pretty good with 600 by 600 for Saturn right now. Uh, my mount is not the most sturdy mount in the world. And um, sometimes I have to correct, bring the planet back to the center. And if my region of interest is too small, it's too difficult to keep it in the field of view. So I have it at 600 by 600. And I'm going to take about 10 minutes of capture here. I think I said that already. Um, so here we go. Basically, it's a, a waiting game now. Um, try to keep it in the field of view. Hope that the skies stay clear and uh, wait for the frames to stack up. And then tomorrow, when I get some time free from the bee yard, I'll process them and uh, process them in auto stacker regis stacks, and then finally in Photoshop. So hopefully I have cool image as the thumbnail of this video. Well, I hope you guys are interested in this. Um, if you are, click like, and then I'll know to maybe bring my camera out when I'm doing astronomy stuff more often. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Get out and look up.